Hello. Hey, this is Tommy Taylor. We got speaking tonight. You are live. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Sean. Hey, Sean. Sean McGill. All right, how are you? We do got some uh, protesters, but if you talk louder than me, with our new system, everybody can hear you well. Okay? All right, cool. Yeah, it sounds like. And uh, I hope that the spirit of Christ softens yeah. their heart. Well, we're out here playing some Christian music, and every time I play the Christian music, their demons squeal a little bit, so it's kind of uh, gratifying to me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I was just watching the Trump rally in Waco, Texas, you know, and. Well, then you have more. That, you have more info than us, so fill us in. What's, what's going on at the rally? Well, he just said that, you know, everybody that was wronged by the people running America right now will be vindicated, and he will be our retribution again. He said that, you know, we're in here wrongfully, and uh, so that was good to hear. And it's really hopeful. I really hope he comes back. Yeah, just keep talking through the noise. You'll be fine. Yeah. So, anyway, um, the government's trying to get me to stipulate to a uh, a stipulated bench trial is what it's called. Is that different from just a regular bench trial? Yeah, it's different from a regular bench trial. What they want to do is drop all the charges besides two. But besides the 1512 and then also besides the 111B. And then we stipulate to a statement of facts. Hey, of uh, things that Sean, happened that day. Hey, Sean, Mickey's going to say something to you real quick. Yeah, Sean, can yeah. you t can you tell us what those two charges are for people that don't don't know the the number? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, 1512 is um, the obstruction of Congress, and the 111B is uh, assault on a federal officer with a deadly or dangerous weapon. Okay. Uh, and the, the deadly or dangerous weapon that they want me to say that I agree is a deadly or dangerous weapon is uh, bear spray that was allegedly used that day. Um, so and it's already been ruled on in this circuit that any chemical spray is not a deadly or dangerous weapon. Yeah. And so that's, yeah, so that's really um, a hard thing to stipulate to, right? Especially, and especially also, when they use it too, right? Correct, and the stuff that they're using is way more powerful. So then that's another thing that they want me to stipulate to that oh bear spray was way is fifty percent more powerful than what they use, which is a flat out lie. I know from personal experience that is a lie that see I looked up the C S stuff, it's way more deadly. Yes, it is way and it's not even deadly. If you think about it, people eat chili peppers and ghost peppers, you know, all the time and they don't die. It's not gonna kill you. You don't die from eating peppers, so unless you have an a allergy to it, I guess. So you're still, you're still deciding what to do over that situation? Yeah, I'm still deciding. So they're, they're trying to say also that this officer, who I have video of, they're trying to say that he went back and decontaminated, and I have his whole movements tracked out. He doesn't decontaminate at all. So they're wanting me to stipulate two lies. Um, so I just want to make that very clear to the people out there. But also, the next thing that I've been doing is talking to an appeals lawyer. And one of the appeals that my uh, previous attorney had brought me uh, um, aware of was that the way that they picked the grand jury for me was fundamentally flawed. Now, they did this locally for a D.C. resident here last year for the first time and it was upheld on their appeal and so this guy got a, a retrial so i have this same type of standing now in my case to look forward to so one of my strategies that i'm trying to pull over is maybe to move forward with this file my appeals hopefully get a retrial if not a dismissal that would be nice and uh, hopefully get this pushed back to 2025 so and if, wait for Trump. So if you do a stipulated <laughs> bench trial, does that still leave the door open for you to make appeals on maybe things the judge has already made uh, uh, his decision on, motions he's already made decisions on? 
And uh, one more time. When you do a stipulated bench trial, does that leave the door open for your uh, appeals later on? Yes, it does. I still have appeals. The only thing that I could not appeal is that uh, OC spray or bear spray or chemical spray is a deadly or dangerous weapon. Oh, I Unless see. there's an adverse ruling by the appeals court. So, and there is a case pending in the appeals court right now about deadly or dangerous weapon uh, uh, for chemical spray as a deadly or dangerous weapon. Okay, I follow So, you that is coming down. Yeah, so there are things that are in play right now that I am considering. But why I think they're doing this is because Ray Epps is now calling for his statement or Tucker Carlson's statement to be retracted on Fox News. I got Ray Epps by the ball. That bastard told me to be there at 1 p.m. no matter what. Yeah. And then we also have Metropolitan Police that are undercover telling people to storm the Capitol and helping people to go up the fucking... Sorry. Sorry, I apologize. For the Fine, go ahead. To go up the scaffolding, you know? Yes. So, there's a lot of things that they're trying to silence. And uh, I just want to make that very clear that they're going out of their way to try to get me to be silent. So, so these are some things I'm mulling over right so now. So, Sean, do you know who Ray F's new lawyer is? No, who is it? So, Ray Epps new lawyer works with Chuck Schumer at Perkins Coy Law Firm in D.C. Do you know who Perkins Coy Law Firm is? Yeah, oh, we know Perkins Coy <laughs> with the Michael Sussman case, yes. Yes, and there's the we ones who pay for the AP dossier, right? The Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. They pay for that. Hillary Clinton paid for that. That's the law firm she used. Yeah, absolutely. A bunch of crooks. Yep, a bunch of deep state yeah. demons. And her campaign had to pay a fine for paying these people to start the whole fake Russian collusion lie. Yeah, well, it's, the, tr so, the truth is going to catch up to Ray Epps. The thing you're talking about, and I know a little bit more than what you're saying, that's going to catch up to him, plus a lot of other stuff I know people are working on right now. So, Ray Epps, your day's up. Yeah. Your number's coming. So, I just want to make it clear to all the listeners and to those haters out there that I've got evidence on Ray Epps. I will be testifying against Ray Epps one day. Amen. And I brother. want the world to know this. Amen. And I brother. also want people to know I have the video of Ray Epps assaulting officers with a sign. Amen, brother. I know right where to find it. Amen. So I am not, by no means, no matter what my decision is, I'm not giving up a fight. I just want everybody to know that. We're all proud of you. You should see all the heads shaking up and down. And resistance to tyranny is obedience to God, Sean. All right. I love you guys. Uh, all right, Sean, we appreciate it. We'll, we'll make sure we get that word out for you, okay? All right, appreciate it. All right, man. What's up, John? Hey. Hey, John. can you hear me? Yeah, John. Yeah. John. 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 Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. You guys are awesome. I got a, I got a quick little, short little pity, and I'm going to hand you over to someone, a very special, special new man we got in here. So, um, Matthew Crow and Kenneth... Bonowitz and Christopher Moyer all showed up today, finally in our pod, and uh, I gotta tell you, just a few minutes ago, I had walked them up to that cell, and we were flicking the light, the first guys that started flicking the light, and there's other people in there now, yeah, we flicking that it. light. Yeah, we're seeing it. Yeah. I, earlier, we just, a few minutes ago, that, you know, five minutes ago, we went up there flicking the light, that was the first time these guys had seen you guys, and it brought tears to their eyes, it brought, it brought tears to my eyes seeing them, uh, it's, such a, it's such an amazing sight, so I just want to let you guys know it's, it's a beautiful thing, and I'm going to put you on the phone right now with uh, Matthew Kroll. Yeah, okay, thank you, John, we appreciate it, that's a beautiful story, yeah. we're, that's, that's why we're here. Absolutely, love you, love you guys. Love you, John. Here's Matthew Kroll. Hey, hey. Hey, man, this is Tommy Tatum, you, you are live streaming, people can hear you all over the world, okay? All right, love you guys, man, you guys got so, you, so you're going to have to speak loud. We have counter-protesters, but if you speak loud on the phone, we can hear you really well, okay? All right, I'm going to try, though, because I'm a, I'm a ball of emotions right now, man. I hear you, man. Hey, you, you know, there's no rush. You can take your time and breathe. We appreciate yeah. you more than you'll ever know. You guys, you guys are so awesome. So much love, man. So much love. So cool. Well, that's why, uh, you know, that's why we're here, man. So, uh... Can I tell everybody your name real quick? 
Yeah, Matthew Kroll. K R O L. I'm out of Michigan. Matthew Kroll out of Michigan. Yeah, uh, say your name out here. Michigan is my is my uh, hometown, and uh, I actually uh, back a few months ago when I was down in Central uh, uh, Central Virginia Regional Jail, I actually died. I was I was. Uh, did a hundred and nineteen second flat line. Oh goodness, uh, man! By the great the guy, God, he brought me back, and here I am. Two days later, I had a pacemaker, and uh, and if my family's listening, I love you guys. Yeah, man, take your time. We're glad you're still with us. God has a plan for you still. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I found a new old guy in. The- uh, week and a half ago. So where, where's I'm just wondering real quick, where's your family from? Michigan. So listen, I don't know if they've explained to you the uh, visitation. So there's other people here that can come visit you that are in D.C. with us, right? So we'll get you on the list. you got to have our names on your list and stuff. So your family being so far away, we can have some people come visit with you on visitation, okay? Uh, that'd, be, that'd be awesome, man. Ask the, ask the other guys what they need to do, what you need to do. All right, I will. I will do that. Now you said somebody had a bad, you said somebody had a birthday a week ago. All right, last, uh, week and a half ago. So now you get that uh, social security money, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, happy belated birthday. All right. Well, thank you. I'm gonna. Uh, God bless you guys. Thank you. I'm gonna pass you over to. Uh, the coach. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Crawl, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you again, okay? We know it's emotional. We understand. All right. All right. Love you guys. God Love you guys, you. too. Thank you, Mr. Hello? Hey, this is Tommy. How are you doing, man? What's your name? Hey, Tom. This is Ken. Ken Bonowitz. Ken Bonowitz. Jim. 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 So, Jim, you are you are talking where everybody is live stream, so people can hear you, whatever you say, okay? Oh, that, that's great, okay. And if I know it's loud yeah. out here, but if you speak loud over your phone and close, everybody can hear you, okay? All right, that's cool. But everybody calls me Coach. So everybody calls you Coach. Yep, I coached football for over 30 years. Okay, that's awesome, oh, yeah. So uh, where are you from, Coach? Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So uh, tell us a little bit about your story, man. Um, I just been, I was picked up about 60 days ago in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, I've been traveling for the last 60 days. I've been to nine different locations. Uh, so they, they were doing some diesel therapy on me there. Uh, been locked down for COVID for over uh, almost three weeks. I was locked down for COVID, and uh, finally got here to the DC uh, to the Gulag uh, on the 17th. So, are, are you uh, still? Have you been? Had any hearings at all yet? What's the status on your court uh, your trial? I guess. Basically, all I've had was a preliminary hearing. I haven't yet had a chance to meet my attorney yet, which was appointed to me. Uh, on the 28th, I've got a, another hearing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that one's for, but uh, I missed the hearing while I was in lockdown for COVID. Okay, so now you're here. When do you have a court? Do you have another hearing date? The reason I ask is we have people who live with us that we try to go to some of the trials and the hearings when we can, so you have a friendly face in the audience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've got one on the 28th at 3 o'clock. To the 28th at 3 o'clock. Okay, we'll try to yeah. look that up. This is, he goes back to okay. coach. Yeah. But Bonowitz, Kenneth Bonowitz, this is my name. Spell your last name loud and clear, please. B O N A W I T Z. Okay, we got that. All right, well, All right. look, if you would like to add anything, you have time. I'm not rushing you. I'm, if you just like to say something other than, you know, like, if you like, you know, whatever you'd like to say at all. All right. I want to thank everybody for the help that they've given us. Uh, every, all the guys in here are wonderful, op- uh, open arms, welcomed us, given us commissary. I want to thank everybody that's given given our our patriots here commissary. Every time new people come in, we get hooked up, make sure that we're taken care of, and everybody's been super great about that. And um, just uh, happy, 
happy to be at least at this location. Not happy to be here per se, but uh, if anywhere, uh, being here has been pretty cool. Is that because of the guys in there with you? Yeah, everybody's been fantastic. Well, that's awesome, Coach. We're, we're going to look. We're going to talk to you a bunch more times. We're here every night. All right? All right. So if you yes, think sir. of anything over the nights or the days that you'd like to get out to your friends, family, whoever, you know, your Gibson yes, go, all yes, that information. Yeah, well, well, you know, right. your Gibson goes, things like that. You know, when you call back, yep. we're glad to go over all that with you, okay? All right. I appreciate it. All right. We love you, brother. what you guys are doing. Yeah, thank all you. I right, love you, too. All right. Bye-bye. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.